Tonight's a big night for music. What, what does it, as an artist, what does a DJ mean to you? A uh, DJ is everything. Before I had the DJ, all I had was just playing my music like off a of, off of cell phone, trying to trying to get the crowd to rock. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? We got DJ. That's now me personally. I'm speaking on me. Now I got my DJ. Now I'm able to rock shows. I'm able to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, vibe with my DJ, and we both able to like make shows. You know, blossom and shit like that. Right. Turn the crowd up. You know what I'm saying? The DJ turn the crowd up. They could be a DJ could be your hype man. DJ could be. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Now speaking of DJs, you just dropped a collaboration with DJ uh, DJ Mustard yeah. uh, in December. Talk to me about this collaboration. What was you know the behind the scenes like? What was that experience like for you? I mean, it was real. We actually did the uh, project in like a week. We only it didn't take that long. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We we work. You know, when me and Mustard get together. Every project we ever did, we just we knocked it right out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was it was done in probably like a week. Um, it, you know what I'm saying? Real smoky, real, uh, <laughs> real, real. It was a nice uh, LA vibe. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what were some of the challenges that you faced while creating this uh, this collaboration record? Um, challenges was uh, mainly just staying fresh, just um, just trying to get it, keep it as fresh and and. Uh, like natural as possible. When he came to me with it, um, he was just like, let's just do everything, let every beat, let's just do different beats. Let's just do, let's not try to be so West Coast or like, let's just try to be fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just try to have fun with it. And, I, and we did just just that. And when you listen to it, it, it got a good vibe to it. Good, like, I don't want, I want to say party feel, it's just a get money feel. It make you want to get up and get to your, you know what I'm saying, get on your good foot. Right. And when you were creating your first your first track, your debut single, you know what was it about the sound that made you say, "Yo, that's the sound that I want to pursue." Which one? What you mean? Which one? Just you when you when you created your first ever your your first ever track, what made you know that that was the sound uh, for RJ? Um, the, the people do. I don't. I don't really just. I do everything. You know what I'm saying? Whatever beat you put in my, you know what I'm saying? In my ears. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I tackle it and I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm a masterpiece myself, so it don't matter. Like I don't, I don't really like pick no beat and be like, this is the sound I want. I just go for what sound will feel good. Right. You know what I'm saying? What feel good at the moment? And uh, you know what I'm saying? My mama always told me don't make gloomy music. Make some music that want, uh, people want to dance to. Right. And you know what I'm saying? My mama is one of the people that she like. She want to want people to dance at her funeral type shit. So that's the type of music I make. I want to make. I want you to dance at, at a funeral type shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I want you to feel good at a funeral. I want to feel. I want you to feel good in, in bad times. Now, what, what's next for you for 2018? What do you got lined up? Uh, shit. 2018 got uh, tours coming up. Summer's big. We want to get on. Man, I'm back in the streets. I'm getting money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm back out here getting money, like like you know, lots of it. So that's what that's my that's my focus, the business side. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tackling the business side and making everything um, blossom. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Making my brand stretch out. You know what I'm saying? We got the Amio brand on my mom, my mom, and I am exactly that. You know what I'm saying? So we're just pushing the issue. You know what I'm saying? To the limit. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a West Coast genre. We're just stepping out our boundaries right now. You know what I mean?